Hello everyone, welcome to this video. Today I am bringing you a video uh, showing you the two different render systems within Blender. Now my previous video, if you keep up with my channel, was um, a review of Blender which is a three, uh, free 3D uh, compositor and modeler and animator and also has a game engine. It's pretty awesome and like I said it's free. Uh, so anyway, I was talking about the render systems in it, uh, specifically the newest one that just came out, which is called Cycles, and I was talking about you know how awesome it was, and it worked really well, and makes things look really, really nice, and uh, so anyway, I thought in this video, I would uh, show you guys the render systems, because some of you were uh, kind of curious about it. Uh, so here, in this left-hand screen right here, this is uh, a rendered image of just a little scene that I put together of just a few teacups that I just modeled real quickly and um, a simple you know backdrop and everything and I rendered it out with cycles render system alright so as you can see everything looks pretty decent and, and you know granted of course it is a very very simple scene you know just a few teacups nothing too exotic but as far as the lighting goes and uh, just the overall look of the shot it looks really nice and pretty realistic uh, so and let me show you around cycles real quickly. So let me just uh, move this aside. And so here's my scene right here. This is what I was working in. And so let me explain what cycles does. So essentially, I just have one light right here. This is my lamp right here. And you can add in multiple ones, but you know I just threw one in, and that seemed to do pretty good. And uh, so all I did is just put that light in there. And uh, then on the sidebar here, we have a bunch of different options on what we can do uh, with our lighting and with the depth of field and with the coloring and all that. So uh, I have my light selected right now and uh, have it set as a sun lamp, the size uh, 1.00. I have it set as uh, emission surface, color white obviously, the strength 1.00 again. Uh, pretty much everything is default as far as the sun goes. And then um, on here onto my actual render system and by the way, you are going to have to have cycles checked, which you can just do on this render drop down. So you just go from Blender Render to uh, Cycles Render. So there you go. So onto this render system now, uh, onto right here onto uh, samples right here, just down on your render uh, system. You can either set the preview or the final render. Now your preview is going to be this. If you click Rendered you can see what your um, what everything looks like in real time as it's being rendered so I can move it around and I can see what it looks like when it's being rendered now so your render preview I have it set to 10 passes right now so it takes essentially 10 uh, renders and it gives kind of a rough cut so you kinda have an idea on what it's gonna look like and then my final render I have that set to 150 so it does 150 individual passes on the render system to make it look really nice so that's cycles alright and it distributes the light as you can see very nicely very soft and even it just looks beautiful alright and so now we're going to take a look at uh, the previous render engine uh, blender render so I'm gonna switch to that right now alright and um, now, so one big downfall about the internal render system, Blender Render, is uh, it doesn't really give you, um, well it doesn't at all, it doesn't give you an option to see your rendering system in real time. So I can't just go onto here and as you can see there isn't any rendered option there as there was in Cycle. So that's kind of a downfall. There is a textured one, but we can just switch to textured, but there isn't a rendered. So anyway, let's render this and uh, I'm going to show you the difference between cycles and the internal blender render. The difference is huge and it definitely is pretty shocking. Alright, so uh, here you go guys. This is, let me just make this a wee bit bigger so you can see it a little better. Uh, but yeah, here is uh, the blender render internal uh, rendering system. Comparing that with what you previously saw, the cycles render of this exact, I didn't do a single thing different. This is the same amount of light, same amount of settings, everything's exactly the same. The only difference is that I'm rendering it right now in Blender Render opposed to cycles. And as you can see, this does not look good at all. It's, you know, you could do with some work and everything, you could make it look a little better, but man, cycles 
is so nice. <laughs> it does everything for you and it does it really, really well. So uh, anyway guys, that's just a brief video showing you uh, the difference between Blender Render and Blender Render Cycles. So I hope this video helped you out guys and I'll see you later. Bye.